Hey, yo, DJ, man. I don't know why he's so sensitive about the gay jokes. Anyone can see by the way he's dressed that he's not gay. No gay man dresses that poorly. So anyway, I'm going to start you. You know, I always feel like kind of a fraud here, because really, I'm the sensitive poet type. I'm not really the stand-up comedian. So I'd like to do a few po love poems for y'all this evening. Uh, more accurately, haikus of my favorite sexual positions. <laughs> Nothing says loving like a brutal Dutch oven. Blanket Auschwitz. <laughs> Blanket is fun way to make toilet dirty two different ways. The Dirty Sanchez, a trip to Mexico with poop-covered dick. The Dirty Sanchez, everyone's Picasso with poop-covered dick. The Dirty Sanchez, my poop dick says you need. An awesome mustache. With dick up her ass, donkey punch girl's head. Yippee-ki-yay, motherfucker. Lover is onion. For I cry, cry, when I cut her. <laughs> oh, this is a joke, folks. I don't really cut my girlfriend. She cuts herself. Just to feel something. Dead prostitute. Not so warm and fresh, but is a bargain. <laughs> Alright, well, I got, I got something else I've been doing. Um, funny thing, people say, you know, that I can't write a joke, because I just do these poems and stories, and it's true, writing jokes is hard. So what I did was I stole a bunch of jokes, and then I cut them up, and I placed them in these three jars. We have the premise... The setup and the punchline. And I'm going to have you each come up and pick one of each. And uh, and then we're going to have a uh oh, here it is. <laughs> Here, I have a joke. This is not a professionally written comedian joke. This is what we comedians call a street joke, not the prescription quality humor you're used to. Your mother is so ugly. The premise. That when she goes to the harbor, the setup. Not even the tugboat's whistle. The punchline. Hilarious. Now I take these jokes, I mix the hilarity together, and could I have someone come up and pick a joke? Chris Islam, come on up here and pick a joke, Chris. The premise. A black guy, a white guy, an idiot, or in a balloon. The setup. And the man orders a beer, and a beer and a shot glass for his leprechaun. The punchline. And they found dead canaries in her cunt. <laughs> Would someone else like to come up and do it? Come on up and get it. Oh, here we go. The premise. Your mother's so ugly. <laughs> a solid premise. I'll have a shot of whiskey and a bowl of ice for my penguin to sit in. And the punchline. Spit it out, it's a piece of ass. That wasn't a very good joke. We always have somebody come up here and pick a better joke. Hey girl, come on up here and, uh, I don't know you, come on up here and pick a joke for me, please. What's your name, young lady? Adrian. Adrian. Hey, try to pick something funny now. We, we had we have trouble with the last one. Didn't you just stunk the place up? I don't know. Two eggs and sausage in a pan. A strange premise. That when your mom wears yellow, fuck you and your mom's diseased cunt. Chris, you want to go up and pick a, pick a joke? The premise. Like what I'm gonna get for Two gay guys walking across the road. The setup. 
And the man tells the prostitute he wants a half and half, a blumpkin, and around the world. And the punchline. Pat and Oswald in Ewok footy pajamas. <laughs> Would someone else like to come up and take a joke? Ah, oh. oh, DJ, come on up here, buddy. The premise! A man goes up to a prostitute. I knew DJ would pick up a prostitute. And Pat and Oswald says, I'm not dopey, I'm grumpy. That's Barbara Bush's syphilitic vagina. Would someone like to come pick up pick another joke? Come on up, come on, pick a joke. The premise. Your mother's so fat. The setup. And the prostitute says, it'll be double for that. And the punchline. Jews! Chris, I got your I got your punchline here. <laughs> I'll, I'll just put it back in the bag. Come on up and pick a joke. Come on. I don't know your name. Come on up. Uh, oh, we got, we, got, we got somebody coming up here? That's good, that's good. The premise! One day, a man came home and was greeted by his, his uh, wife dressed in a sexy negligee. And the man asked the prostitute, Is that your monkey? African Americans. <laughs> we need, I knew you'd pick some racial humor. Uh, gentleman there in the hipster uh, hoodie, come on up here. <laughs> the premise! A man goes to the rabbi. That was some Jewish humor. Hey Bruce, I think I'm pregnant. Who's the father? Hey, that's my vagina! Well, I'm going to call it into this tonight. I'm going to bring DJ back up here while I clean up all my premises. And DJ Delgado. Yeah.